Hey friends, I hope you're having a great Christmas season. We're a few days out before Christmas and I'm getting ready to go shopping for someone in my family that's really hard to buy for. And we all probably have that person in our family that, um, you know, they're just, they have everything and they're hard to buy for. Well, this particular person, anytime we buy Christmas presents for her or birthday presents for her, y'all, I kid you not, she comes up with some reason why it doesn't work. Either it doesn't fit, it's the wrong size, it's the wrong color, she has one like it. It is comical um, when we buy things for this person because there's always a reason. Y'all, literally, I kid you not, I bought her this, um, this it, it's, it was one of those um, shirts that you can wear in the sun and, um, and it covers your arms and it was a great color. Um, it was a little expensive even. I bought this for her for her birthday because she loves to be out in the sun. And two months later, she gave it back to me. And she said, you know, I have one just like it. I really don't need it. <laughs> and you're like, I thought I had a good gift for you. Anyway, so now I'm wearing the gift that I bought for her. Anyway, all that to say is it got me thinking about gifts our husband buys for us at Christmas. We don't want to be that person to our husband when they buy something for us at Christmas, especially when they go out on a limb and they use their creativity and they try to find something that they think that we're going to like and maybe it is the wrong size or maybe it is the wrong color. I know you probably already know this, but I just want to encourage you. It is insulting. Like when this person that I've just described to you, like I'm waiting already. So I'm going to go buy her a gift in just a few minutes. It's going to be comical. I mean, I'm waiting for there to be an excuse as to the reason why she can't keep my gift. Um, we don't want to be that person to our husbands. And so I just want to encourage you to receive your gifts with grace. And I'm sure you already know that, but just be very aware of your responses to the gifts that your husband gives you or to the gifts or gift that your husband gives you for Christmas. Be appreciative. Um, and if it is the wrong size, just say, you know what, I, I probably need a different size, but I love this. Encourage them because if we want more gifts in the future, we've got to be girls that love getting their gifts. So just be aware of your response when you're getting gifts at Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day and um, can't wait to see you in the new year if I don't talk to you before then. I've got some great content that I'm already working on for the new year that um, I think is really going to be helpful that I'm looking forward to. So if I don't talk to you before then, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.